me Neon Jacket bringing you another video on the forest. Today I'm going to show you how to get the machete. Now just a forewarning, I am on creative mode so if you are on survival trying to get the machete then I'm still going to show you how and the best way possible for you to get the machete but it will take quite a bit of materials. Now, the quickest way to get in the pit safely used to be using a turtle shell and going down that way, but now the best way and the quick and easiest way is to make a standing zip line. You want to take it from one side of the pit to the other on the exact opposite side. And then you're going to use the zip line. You're going to drop right above the the uh, the cave entrance at the very bottom and you're just going to land in the water hopefully now there is a chance that you might die but if you do it right you won't have that big a chance and you just have to be patient you have to know when to like to let go of the zip line and it, it's pretty easy from there but in order to get out of the cave or out of the pit without having to go into the cave to finish the game or any of that the easiest way to do that is to get the climbing axe and just use the climbing axe on the wall and slowly make your way up. Obviously, you would want to be cautious while doing that just so you can make sure that um, you don't die and fall. So you want to use the, the flattest side, which I believe is right there, over there. You just want to make your way up onto that and go up. Now, I am on creative. I don't believe I said that. If I did, then, well, now you've heard it twice. I'm on creative, so I apologize for not doing this legit. But, uh, an easy way to get rope without having to go around the map and find it on the yacht or little boats or whatever um, is use seven cloth. Combine it, and then there's rope. And I will be releasing a guide on how to farm cloth on Tuesday. So if you are on survival and you want to get this, then just look out for Tuesday to get a cloth guide so you can make rope easy and simple and quick. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach on the zip line. I'm going to wait till about here. I'm going to press E again. I'm just going to fall. And I'm going to land right in the water, and you're safe. Now from here, there's the entrance to the end of the game. Um, to, well, to end the game. You go down there, and you would want the rebreather and the climbing axe and all that stuff down there. Now, there are, a, out of creative mode, if you're on survival mode, there are a handful of cannibals, and I believe two mutants down here, two or three mutants down here, so do be careful. Um, but from here, there's the large land, and there's a whole bunch of boxes over there, and you want to go over to this small rock that's all attached to, um, well, that's next to the water, because there's a big group of, there's a big rock, and then there's a small rock. You want to go on the small rock, and just jump up, and jump up, and then right there is the helicopter. Now, you do not want to try and walk on the helicopter because you will fall through the windows. Although, if you do fall through the windows and you just, oops, crouch and walk through and then just jump out on this side. Now, here's the machete just waiting at the front of the helicopter. Um, there is also clothing right here. And I believe this is the, yes, this is the suit. Um... So you now are the part owner of the machete, as well as the suit, and like I said before, the easiest way out is to actually go right there next to the waterfall and climb up that way, and just go up there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see any type of guide or farming guide that's like specific that you just really want to see, do comment below, and I will try my best to make it happen.
Thank you guys for watching, and remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye.